plastic. We all use it every day. <coughs> we wear it. We spray it on ourselves. We spray our hair, paint it on our nails. Now, what's so bad about that? I'm going to introduce you to a couple guys. The phthalates. The phthalates are plasticizers. They make plastic really soft and pliable. They're also in our personal care products. And our other compatriot is the bisphenol A. It makes plastic nice and clear and nice and hard. Now we probably all know the word BPA. It's expanded out to bisphenol A for good reason because it's very hard to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> now tonight's speech is not to entertain you and it may actually scare you. So let's go down this track here. Now a study was done on some pregnant rats and what they did was they inserted some plastic, phthalate infused plastic under their skin. And they found that the male fetuses produced less testosterone. And then the link was started to put together back in about only about 2005 with our own declining male fertility rates. What is this plastic doing in our bodies? It becomes what's called an endocrine disruptor or a hormone mimicker. When we drink something out of a, a hot coffee or out of a plastic bottle, we're actually consuming some of that plastic. It goes into our body and it actually flushes out pretty quickly. But along the way, the molecules themselves look very similar to some of our own hormones. Now our body's very, very clever that that molecule will fit perfectly into a receptor site. And away the mischief goes. Dr. Carol Kwiatkowski of the Green Policy Institute studied people and she found that 90% of us will have BPA in our body at any one time. So think about that. I was just saying before about how it flushes through your system. However, it's constantly in there. BPA only became a substance of concern in 2017. It's only really quite recent. Now I can hear your little brain sort of ticking away there and hang on a moment, you know, what is she talking about? My water bottle says BPA free. Well they've actually replaced that with something called bisphenol S. So what's happening now? It's turning into chemical whack-a-mole. So we don't know the consequences of bisphenol S. Now, what I say before about our, it flushing through our system, it ends up in our wastewater system, our sewage treatment plants, where a lot of the BPA and phthalates actually are captured there. They don't go any further. Now, if you need a good reason to actually give up some junk food, this is a very good reason. Junk food eaters or fast food eaters tend to have a lot more phthalates in their body because of the nature of how that food is packaged before it gets to that facility. What it's delivered to you in, the clear plastic container, nice hot plastic container, and even down to the food handler's gloves. So that could be good reason to give up fast food. This can here, do you think it's recyclable? It's BPA lined. Two thirds of our cans are BPA lined. That's a scary fact. So when you consume that food, you're actually consuming BPA. 
best choice, glass. It doesn't leach into your food or stainless steel or ceramic. So what I'm urging you to is just look at some of your own personal use. Other areas that you can reduce your plastic usage, these guys. Looks like a, it's just an EPOS receipt. It's actually a BPA covered paper, that's how it prints. That breaks off quite easily and you consume it by inhaling it. So I am probably just inhaled a few molecules just then. So when somebody says, do you want your, your receipt? No, thank you. <laughs> the other thing that you can do as well is you can recycle a lot of your soft plastics, take them to the supermarket. Most of the, the, the two big chains that ha have a plastic bale at the front of the supermarket. Soft, squishy plastics like this, and even these guys here, they can be recycled. The single-use plastic water bottle, try not to use it. Simple as that. It's, these are a, a destructive chemical nightmare. They're in our environment forever, all plastic that's ever been produced is still in our environment and always will be. Always take your own water bottle. Check your own curbside recycling program too. So these, unfortunately, we do have to use plastic. Um, if I wanted to buy organic, it came in a beautiful plastic container. <laughs> Pop it in, it can be recycled. Now this is my, my straw. I don't know what happened to my straw. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just going to pretend that's a straw. Plastic straws, they number one, they cannot be recycled. And each time you drink through that, you're consuming some of that phthalate too. Uh, plastic bags, put that into the recycling, uh, into the soft, into the soft squishy recycling, not into your curbside recycling. Qantas is actually determined to cut its. its single-use plastic usage by the year 2021. They produce about 80 747s or, or jumbo jets worth every year. If they can cut down their usage, we can cut that down as a single user. I want you to think about your own personal health, the health of the person next to you, and the health of those animals and the marine wildlife that live near our waterways. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea.